MS Dhoni and Ryaner have retired from international cricket, so it's time to pay tribute to them both on Hogs Vlog. Well, MS Dhoni and Ryan have had a positive influence on the international and Indian game of cricket. Now, MS Dhoni, he's going to go down as one of the greatest leaders the game has ever seen. He was calm, collect and composed. Yes, he did get frustrated and angry at times, but the body language never showed it. And that bamboozled opposition teams. They didn't know whether they uh, had got under his skin or not. He was approachable with his teammates, and when under pressure in those tough situations, he was able to calm the nerves and let the players execute their skills to the best of their ability, uh, taking the weight off their shoulders. Also, it wasn't win at all costs. He was concerned about India and other teams that he was uh, leading of playing within the spirit of cricket. That always came first, and that's what I liked about MS Stoney. I like the way that he took responsibility too. If something that he did didn't come off, uh, he wasn't happy with it, he didn't blame others. He took the responsibility and ownership of that particular situation on his own shoulders. He was adaptable. He could bat anywhere in the order in any given situation. And one quality that I really like about MS Dhoni, he did it his way. He had people that he could trust and respect that would help him make decisions. He didn't go out of that circle of trust. MS Dhoni, you look at the stats, well, you can't argue with that. One of the best keeper batsmen the world's ever seen. Definitely in the top three. And I like the fact that he's got a lot of stumpings there. It's always good to have a keeper that was sharp behind the stumps. Now for Reiner, I really enjoyed this man. He had passion, selflessness, as well as always putting the team first. You just saw it in the batting. He'd go out there, chance his arm, and uh, put the team's benefit first before his own averages. He made 100 in the first test match that he ever played, and he was the first man to ever make a T20 100. So there are two performances he will remember for the rest of his life. Um, also, I just love the way he was in the field. Just the sharpness, diving to his left and right, taking some classic catches, but also the zip to create some run out opportunities, executing them to perfection. Now, India before Reiner came in, weren't that flash in the field. He's one of the men that has set the standard moving forward for Indian cricket and making them more competitive in all formats because their fielding has lifted. Also, one shot that I always loved Ryan playing, especially as a spin bowler, was when he got his front foot as far forward as he possibly can, turned a good length ball into a half volley and chipped it over the cover region for a four or a six. That is one of the uh, shots that I'll miss on the international stage. But both players set a good example for youngsters coming forward uh, in the international game. They both played to the spirit of cricket. And if youngsters uphold their values, well, the game is in safe hands. Uh, hey, get your comments downstairs of your memories of both players. And let's have a, a little bit of interaction between all the followers on this format. But get that like button there, get over the subscribe button, and I'll talk to you on Saturday for another Hogs Vlog.